Modern agriculture has given us the safest, the most affordable, and the most plentiful food supply in the history of our species. But with our global population growing at current rates, it's been estimated that we will have to produce more food in the next 30 years than we have in the entire history of humanity. The biggest threats to face our species are things like climate change, biodiversity loss, and soil loss. But there is one group of people who can save us from that future, farmers. So I'm on a journey into the future of our food. Oh, miracle, amazing. To witness for myself what the best and brightest minds are doing. Everybody wants a fix. Well, the fix is nature itself. To avert the imminent food security crisis. We need to start to think now to, in order to solve the problem that we'll have in the future. I'll question received wisdom. Why not just get rid of the cows? <laughs> and interrogate how our food supply chains can respond to unparalleled events like the COVID-19 pandemic. Technology is gonna have an extraordinarily large part to play in the food chain, and I'm really excited about it. Wow, look at this. So here's what I wanna know. If we could radically rethink how we treat our land what we grow and how we produce it. If we could not just change our food system, but our whole planet for the better. Of all the inputs needed by agriculture, it's this one, water, that's far and away the most important. But farmers' relationship with this precious resource is becoming increasingly complicated, and that's largely down to the effects of climate change. Extreme weather events mean farmers now frequently have to contend with either too much water or too little. In some parts of the world, it's leading to entire communities migrating in search of a steady water supply for their crops. So can we rethink how we use our water? For the protection of both our farms and our climate. I'm beginning with a crop that while fundamental to feeding us, is causing our planet enormous problems. Paddy fields, as far as the eye can see, and all of it flooded in water. And that's because if you want to grow a single kilo of rice, you're going to first need up to 5,000 litres of water. That is just absolutely astonishing. 70% of the world's fresh water is used in agriculture, and rice accounts for over a third of that. To keep these thirsty rice plants happy, humans have flooded vast areas of the world to create artificial wetlands. And the problem isn't just the amount of water this crop uses, but the bacteria that live in this flooded soil are constantly producing methane, swamp gas, a massive greenhouse gas. In fact, 20% of all methane on the planet comes from paddy fields, and rice is the number one crop for greenhouse gas emissions. 